Got my chopped cheese. Some hell of a good buttermilk ranch chips. You don't put chips in your sandwich. I, I don't think I could trust you. Respectfully. <laughs> What is up, YouTube? Slow as G here, slow as G35 in New York, but not for long. Um, today we're coming at you with another video. It's just gonna be a quick video. Excuse me. I'm actually in the passenger seat right now. Um, today I'm gonna be taking off my center console, uh, like right around the shifter and stuff. Um, I want to rewrap it. So I did this sticker bomb a while ago. Um, it looks really cool. I like it for a while. Um. As you can see, it's it's peeling up. Um, being that it is a sticker bomb, you can't really tell the imperfections, but there's a lot of patchwork and a lot of places that I didn't cut very well. Um, and it's peeling up and stuff. And honestly, I'm just getting tired of it. It's, it's a lot going on in there and it doesn't really match anything else in the car. So I wanna take these out, um, take both these panels out. Uh, this actually, all this stuff doesn't even work at the moment. Um, watched a few videos and I've seen maybe it might be something related to the radio. I don't know. Not really gonna get into all that. I really just wanna rewrap all this, get rid of the sticker bomb, go with a different look for now. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. So I'm gonna start taking off the shifter, get this piece up, and then I'm gonna have to drop the glove box to get this out, drop this on this shield to get this out so that I can get this whole thing out. And I'm also gonna have to take this out, which I heard this breaks very often. So I'm curious to see if I'm gonna be able to get it out in one piece or if we're gonna be breaking shit today. So we'll get into that right now. Oh, ooh, look at that parking. Ah, I'm curving my ribs. Uh, just get some tools. As you can see, it is snowing out here in New York right now. Slow break. Um, I just need to grab a couple tools out of the toolbox, <laughs> and uh, we'll get right back into it. So the only real tools you're gonna be needing for this is just, you know, Phillips head flathead. I got a pick and a panel popper. So everything just relatively simple. I mean, it's just a bunch of screws in there that you gotta get out, and you gotta drop all these stuff and take a bunch of screws out just to get to this. So we're just gonna do that real quick. Um, I'm gonna have to cut these zip ties. This is the connection for my light bar to switch. Obviously, it's done. Shit, I know, but uh, we'll redo it eventually. Then you're gonna take your panel popper and this should just pretty much come right up. I think there's one connector under this part that you gotta get out. Uh, yeah, one connector back here. And just get your pick or your flathead. And we're just gonna push. I apologize, I'm trying to record and do this at the same time. I don't have a melt, but you get that one connector right, you just push the pin, oh. oh so that was great, I spilled the whole ashtray on myself, whatever. Uh, this thing looks pretty badass like this, not gonna lie. You should get those four screws out, but I'm gonna just break it down a little bit. Right into all the floor. Okay, I know you're looking for that screw back there, and that screw right there. So you can take this side panel out. So you go ahead and get those. Once you got those out, I just pulled that out and you just kind of Get out a little bit. Now we're gonna have to go to this side, raise the wheel all the way up. Okay, we're over on the driver's side now. Raise the wheel up to give yourself enough space. You know, pop this thing down so that you open up some space. And then I believe there's a screw right there. And there's a screw right there that you need to get. 
Once those are out, unplug your shit. And then you can just pop it out. I mean, you should use a piano popper for this, but we've got time for that. Even though it's right there. But, okay, now that that's out, now we start taking the top off. From what I've seen, you gotta be careful. You take your panel popper and you just start trying to lift this up. From my understanding, just because of the sunlight, the heat, the cold, back and forth, these things flex and get brittle. So I'm gonna try to take these up. Am I the first one to not break it? No, just kidding. All right, take that little connector out. Oh, uh, wow, I... Mine's actually not even a connector, that's great. So I don't even need to take this screw out. I'm gonna take that screw out and the screw underneath and this is out, so... Where's my screwdriver? Be careful not to drop these screws down into the abyss. Bingo. This comes out, one clip connector here. Now here's your one screw I was talking about up here. This is, this little bracket is gonna be what's gonna give you the most trouble pulling it out. You just gotta wiggle it and play with it until it comes out, but. This is oh. really what I, I, I try to do, right? Third quarter, fourth quarter, always have this. It won't stop. It won't stop. I think it's just time to pull. So now remember, that's going to give you a little bit resistance and an issue. Uh. All right, hopefully that's a little better. So, as you can see, you just gotta wiggle it around, get that top bracket out, and we're out. So we're gonna get those, push those tabs in, pull the wires out. And we just got the last of them out, the antennas out. And this unit is fully out, ready to be rewrapped. I don't know what I'm gonna do about the radio situation yet. Probably nothing at the time. I'm um, just gonna try to get uh, get this thing rewrapped. I don't really care much about the radio right now. I have another aftermarket one with CarPlay and everything that I'm probably gonna eventually put in, but I don't know what I'm gonna do about all this yet. Uh, it sucks that I broke this, so this is always going to be open and ugly, but look at how cool the car looks. It looks like an actual drift car now. So, we're going to take these inside, we're going to take all this wrap off, and we're going to prep this thing up and see if we wrap it today. I just made a quick supply run, got some fresh razor blades, got some sandpaper, some alcohol, some pads. Me and Milo about to rewrap these pieces. Right, Milo?
because that was a very long, annoying process, but after probably an hour and a half, we got everything cut out, and I'm really liking this carbon wrap. Gives it a much better clean. Look, I did fuck some spots, all right? I did f Oh, I forgot I put the bolts back in here, so we're gonna take those out. I'm just gonna get this. All right, we're back apart, so I'm gonna start plugging these connectors in. I'm gonna do that off camera real quick, and then I'll set it up so I can, you guys can see me putting it back in. All our connectors are plugged in, so we're gonna set this camera up and push everything back. Back in place, and I'm just gonna start putting all the screws back in. Two on the bottom here, one in the top, put the panels back in, button everything up, put this on, and should be good to go. We got the top in, everything buttoned up, we're about to throw the bottom piece on. Now, so let's later and shit we're looking good damn it gives it a whole different look i like the sticker bomb but it's refreshing different look goes with the you know subtle well, next i gotta change all this black but we're making progress boys look at that no rubbing i can push all my buttons Gives it a whole new vibe. I like, I like it. Nice clean lines for the most part. You know, a few wrinkles here and there, but sheesh. So as you can see in the sped up video, I ended up redoing this side with like a little strip. This side was a little rough, but I'm gonna leave it for now, whatever. Overall, good install. Took me about two hours start to finish. If you have all the materials, it'll probably be a little quicker for you, but I'm happy. Thumbs up, comment what you guys think. Catch you in the next video. Slow ass G, out. That's it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed that quick installs, quick little re-wrap. It's small details, but it makes a world of a difference in the look. I'm very happy with it. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Got more content coming for you guys. Um, if you fuck with the video, like, comment, subscribe, share the video, and we'll see you in the next one.